I own your soul. <laughs> Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my Academy Awards nominees slash predictions for 2012, the 84th Academy Awards, whatever the hell you want to call them. So, if you do not know, they finally officially released the nominees, and I'm making a video to show them off. If you did not know, if you just want to watch me read them off and, you know, predict what's going to win, then... You're in luck, because that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so, let's do this. So, the first one, of course, I'm on Rotten Tomatoes. I, I, love, I love Rotten Tomatoes. But, uh, the first one, of course, we're going to start off big, is with the best picture of 2011. And the nominees are The Artist, The Descendants, Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close, which kind of surprised me that it's actually even on this list, because, look, it's the only one that actually has a negative 80, uh, 48, besides all these 97s and 89s, you know. So that one was surprising. The Help, Hugo, Midnight in Paris, Moneyball, The Tree of Life, and War Horse. Now there's a couple of movies here that were snubbed, of course. Harry Potter, Warrior, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Um, My My Week with Marilyn, from what I've heard, is a great movie. Um, so, of course, they snub movies that are, you know, genre movies. Like, oh, God, they're so sci-fi. Like... Sci oh, Harry Potter, ew, gross, he has no nose. Yeah. <laughs> no, no one wants to nominate Harry Potter. I mean, they nominated Lord of the Rings, but and it won, of course, but they didn't nominate Harry Potter. What a bunch of douches. But anyway, don't have a huge problem with these. Uh, I only watched two of them, Moneyball and War Horse, because those are the only ones that actually went wide. You know, even Hugo didn't go that wide. Not wide enough to freaking get in my theaters. And also, I want to see Extremely Loud, but... I didn't get a chance to see it yet. So anyway, that was the best picture. If I had to predict which one's going to win, I think The Artist, because it's getting more buzz. But it might actually go to either Midnight in Paris or Hugo, because those are the ones that are, are getting very... They're getting a lot of buzz, too. The Artist is really getting a lot of buzz. But for some reason, Hugo and Midnight in Paris just, to me, feel like those are the underdogs that might actually take it. And The Descendants, too, but... Whatever, I don't know. <laughs> I think I think it's gonna be the artist. If not, maybe Hugo or Money uh, Midnight in Paris. So now let's do best actor. Alright. The best actor, uh the nominees are <laughs> the nominees are uh Damien Bichar from A Better Life, which I heard was a great movie. Um a baseball movie with a Mexican family and stuff, blah blah blah. Uh Brad Pitt Moneyball, we, he was great in that movie. Uh Gary Oldman Tinker Taylor Soldier Spy, which I heard it was great in that movie. <laughs> George Clooney The Descendants, which it's George Clooney, so yay. Um Jean Desjardins from The Artist. That guy's cool. I want to see the artist really badly, but I heard he was really good in that movie, too. Obviously, they're on the nominees, so they they are the nominees, so they have to be good. So, what do I think is going to win from the best actor? I have a feeling, and this is just me, that the surprise is going to be Gary Oldman, but I think the winner is going to be George Clooney, because he won in the Golden Globes, and I feel like he's the one that's getting the most buzz. If not him... Then Brad Pitt. Those are the two. But the surprise might be Gary Oldman. Damien Bashir and I don't think Jean Desjardins will have a chance. But maybe. I don't know. I heard they were fantastic in their movie. So hopefully, maybe, you know, show it, show freaking Brad Pitt and Gary Oldman and George Clooney who's boss, you foreign guys. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Next, next, maybe I should zoom this in so you can't see the next one. I don't want you to see the nominees for those. Um, you can't, you already see them. Damn it, I spoiled it. Let me get closer so you can't. There you go. Um, <laughs> best actress. Glenn Close from Albert Knobs. She played a dude, and I heard she was good. Good job. Uh, Michelle Williams from My Week with Marilyn. Meryl Streep from The Iron Lady. Rooney Mara from The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, which was snubbed for best picture, but, you know, whatever. And Viola Davis, The Help. I want Rooney Mara to win, but I have a feeling it's either going to be Michelle Williams or Meryl Streep. Those are the two. So, pick from those. <laughs> um, but I want Rooney Mara to win. But I think it's going to be either Michelle Williams or Meryl Streep. If I had to pick one, Meryl Streep. So, there you go. Um, best Supporting Actor, you already saw the nominees. 
but I'll read them off anyway. Best Supporting Actor, Christopher Plummer for Beginners. He played a gay British guy. Good job. Uh, Nick Nolte from Warrior, which, great choice. Thank God the freaking Oscars put that. When I first saw that, I was like, yee And I was happy. So, <laughs> he was great in that freaking movie, by the way. Oh, uh, he's easily, easily my pick, so... Max von Sydow, extremely loud and incredibly close. Jonah Hill, Moneyball, who was really good in that movie. Uh, Kenneth Branagh, My Week with Marilyn. So, Nick Nolte, I hope will win, but my prediction is Kenneth Branagh. That's the one I think, because Kenneth Branagh, come on, he's a great actor. Don't, don't get me wrong, but he's also the most, I don't know, I would say Oscar worthy. He just seems like someone that would get an Oscar. I don't know. You can actually pick picture Kenneth Branagh getting up there and accepting it. I don't know. You can't picture Max von Sydow, Christopher Plummer. Well, maybe a little bit of Christopher Plummer, but Nick Nolte, you can, I couldn't picture him. Jonah Hill, definitely not, you know. <laughs> his freaking Jufro and his skinniness now. It would be crazy. But uh, I hope Nick Nolte or even Jonah Hill will win, but that's just me. So, let's go on to Best Supporting Actress. Let me get up here. Oh, man, this is going a little long. I'm already up six minutes. Best Supporting Actors, Bernice Bajou from The Artist, Janet McTeer from Albert Nobbs, Jessica Chastain from The Help, Melissa McCarthy from Bridesmaids, and Octavia Spencer from The Help. I didn't see any of these movies, so I'm just going to go with the prediction, which is, I think, Melissa McCarthy, because I heard she was so good in that movie. But I, I really think it's going to be Bernice Bajou from The Artist, because... That's the one that everybody's like, oh, she's so good in it, and she's so cute, and I, I like her. She's really good. So, that one. <laughs> uh, best Director, which is the last main category, and everything else is small, and I'll get through that quick. Best Director, Woody Allen for Midnight in Paris, Terrence Malick for The Tree of Life, Mikhail Havas Navisis, the artist, <laughs> Alexander, Alexander Payne, The Descendants, Martin Scorsese, Hugo. So that's pretty much narrowing down the best pictures. So every movie that I just said here is the only five that are actually going to have a chance to win. So <laughs> they kind of spoil that. But I think it might be Martin Scorsese. If not, then Woody Allen for Midnight in Paris and Martin Scorsese for Hugo. I think Martin Scorsese, because he's done something completely different from everything else, and I heard he did such a great job, so I really want to see Hugo. So anyway, let's get through the last nominees, which are actually a lot of them, but they're really quick. Best Documentary Film Feature. Let me uh, get close to that. All right, the nominees are Hell and Back Again, If a Tree Falls, Paradise Lost 3, Pina, Pine, Pine, I think Pine, Undefeated. So those are the best documentary. I never watch any of them, so I can't really give predictions. Never heard of them either. Best Original Screenplay, The Artist, Bridesmaids, Margin Call, Midnight in Paris, A Separation. Uh, I'm going to predict The Artist because it's pretty original for now, now times, you know? I mean, how many silent movies do you watch nowadays? I'm going to say The Artist, okay? Now let's go to Best Adapted Screenplay, The Descendants, Hugo, The Ides of March, Moneyball, and Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. Um, I might go with Hugo because that one's getting a lot of buzz. I'm going to say Hugo, if not, then The Descendants. So, there you go. Now, next one is Best Foreign Language Film. Uh, Bullhead, Footnote, In Darkness, Monsieur Lazar, Les, Les Hair, Lazar, A Separation. Uh, a Separation is the only one I heard from out of all these, so I'm going to say that one because I heard that one was fantastic. I heard that one's getting so many great reviews, so that one, <laughs> so that one. Best Animated Feature, A Cat in Paris, Chico and Rita, which I heard was a really good movie, uh, Kung Fu Panda 2, Puss in Boots, and Rango. Thank you, thank you so much for not putting Cars 2 here. I didn't even watch it, but I'm happy you didn't because there were so many other great animated movies this year. And you put two of them I didn't even watch. Uh, well, actually, three of them. I didn't watch Puss in Boots. But if I had to pick one from here, and this is my prediction also, I'm going to say Rango. Because that was a fantastic movie. So forgotten, too. Which is sad. Best original score, The Artist, The Adventures of Tintin, Hugo, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, War Horse. I'm going to say either War Horse or The Artist. Because I heard The Artist, the whole movie's pretty much a score. Because there's no... 
of, you know, it's silent movie. So you're not going to just have a silent movie, you have to have music. So I heard it was really good in that. Uh, War Horse, I would say maybe because it's John Williams. And everybody loves John Williams. I mean, who doesn't love John Williams? Alright, so now best original song. Man or Muppet from the Muppets or Real and Rio from Rio. Well, I don't remember anything from Rio. So I'm just going to say Man or Muppet because... First of all, that was a great song, and it's the only other one, because there's only two nominees. So, there you go. <laughs> Man or Muppet. Best Cinematography. Now, this one I'm just going to automatically say, uh, well, maybe I should read the nominees. Uh, the Artist, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, Hugo, The Tree of Life, or War Horse. I heard Hugo had amazing cinematography, and I heard, I, I didn't hear, I saw War Horse had fantastic cinematography, but I'm going to say Hugo. That's the one I think is going to win. So there you go, best cinematography, best film editing, the artist, the descendants, the girl with the dragon tattoo, Moneyball, and Hugo. Um, this one I'm just gonna, I didn't really hear anything about best film editing for any of these. I'm just gonna go with the girl with the dragon tattoo because that's the only one here I actually saw that I thought had really good film editing. You know, Moneyball was decent, but you know, nothing amazing. I, I thought girl with the dragon tattoo actually really did have some good editing. Best Art Direction, The Artist, Harry Potter and Deathly Hollows Part 2, Hugo, Midnight in Paris, War Horse. Best Art Direction, hmm. Hugo, I heard, was amazing. So, I might go with that, but Harry Potter had some really good art direction. Um, I, I'll go with Harry Potter. You know what, I'm just going to say Harry Potter because Hugo will probably win three other awards, and he, Harry Potter's not going to win anything else. Maybe one more award, but uh, that's probably the only other one that's going to be nominated for. So I'll, I'll go with Harry Potter this time. Best costume design... Ugh, best... Ugh, let me... Best costume design. Anonymous, the artist, Hugo, Jane Eyre, W.E. We... I don't know, that's that freaking Madonna movie. Um, Anonymous, I heard, had really good costume design because it was set back when Shakespeare was ruling the world or something. I don't know. Uh, and... Um, I heard the artist was fantastic too. Hugo, I also heard. Mm, this one I'm gonna go with the artist. I'm gonna go with the artist just, just to be safe. <laughs> the artist, I think. Uh, best sound mixing. The artist. Oh, here's Harry Potter again. The Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part Two. Hugo, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, and War Horse. Um. This one, I might go with The Artist because it's probably really good sound mixing for a movie that probably does not have much sound because there's no voice acting, so they'll probably have to add more sound. So I'm just going to say that again. So The Artist and Hugo is really owning the Oscars for me. Best Sound Editing, The Artist, Drive, Hugo, Transformers Dark of the Moon, and War Horse. This one, I'll actually have to go with Transformers, even though it's not a very good movie. It had some really good sound editing, and you have to admit it did. So I'm gonna go with Transformers. Best visual effects: <laughs> Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part Two, Hugo, Real Steel, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Transformers: Dark of the Moon. Well, I oh, this one's hard because I really loved Real Steel special effects, but there's not as much as Transformers, and Harry Potter was fantastic too. I would predict Transformers is going to win, but I want Harry Potter or Real Steel to win. Rise of Planet of the Apes was also great with the motion, you know, with, uh, what's his name? Uh, the great guy, ah, oh, freak. Um, ah, oh, the guy that played, uh, Caesar, I can't remember. But anyway, yeah, any one of those, actually. Just screw it. Uh, I, but I'm going to predict Transformers is going to win. Best Makeup, Albert Nobbs, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 2, The Iron Lady. I'm going to go with Albert Nobbs because they made Glenn Close look like a man, and that's a good job. <laughs> Best Animated Short Film, Dementia Sunday, The Fantastic Flying Books of Mr. Morris Les Moore, La Luna, A Morning Stroll, Wildlife. I don't know. That one, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Best Live Action Short Film, Pente Cost, Raju, The Shore, Time Freak, Tuba Atlantic... I don't know. <laughs> I never heard of any of, those, any of those. Best documentary short subject, The Barber of Bur Birmingham, God is the Bigger Elvis, Incident in New Baghdad, Saving Face, The Tsunami, and The Cherry Blossom. I don't know about that either. So anyway, those are the nominees. Those are my predictions. I hope you enjoyed them. I'm getting a little close on that 15 minutes, so I'm just going to end it here and say thank you for watching. If you did, if you didn't, then fine. And also see you at the Academy Awards 
Remember to follow me on Twitter because I'll definitely be tweeting about it when it happens. So anyway, thank you and goodbye.